Did you ever wish to stream your media files or the videos from your Android phone to your Windows laptop or desktop? So let's see how we can do that without even copying the files to our desktop or laptop. We will be directly playing the videos or streaming the videos from our Android phone to our computer. Let's check that. So to stream our videos, I will be needing one application on my phone. So for that, in my Android phone, I will be simply going into Android Play Store. Then I'll be going into the search mode and I'll be simply searching with DLNA server. So once you put in that, you get many options as we know. We'll be going with this software which is DLNA server by Oleg A. Just tap on that. It is really simple application which is only 1.2 MB and it does not have any advertisements which I like. Simply click on install. It is getting installed and it is done. We can click on open directly from here. Let's do that. Once you open it, it will give you one prompt. So I'll be not enabling battery optimization. That is fine with me. Don't show. And here we have the simplistic UI. We can go into the settings. You can change many things, but I'm not going to do anything. You can have your custom port or anything like that, but that is fine with me. I'll be simply clicking on OK. Then I need to select which are the folders containing those videos, which I want to stream to my computer. Simply I'll be clicking on this plus icon. And as you see, it is giving me what path I need to choose. So I'll be clicking on this extreme right directory icon. Once you do that, it will ask you to give permission to the files. Obviously, I need to do that. Allow it. And here is my phone memory. Let me go to the folder where I have some videos. DIY try. Then maybe this one. This has some JPG, PNG and MP4 files like photos and videos. I'll be simply clicking on this tick mark or right symbol at the top. That means it has been selected. If you want another folder which might be containing some other videos that we also can do. Simply click on this plus icon again. Again the extreme right icon or the directory icon. Click on that. Come back with the second option and maybe I'll be going with this folder and this has two videos that is fine. And from here I'll be simply clicking on this tick mark again at the top and this folder also been selected. And simply what I'll do, I'll be clicking on this little play icon at the top. So once I tap on that uh, notification, I'm going to allow that. That's fine. And here we go. The DLNA server is running file server on 192, whatever IP it is there, colon with one port number. Simply what I'll do, I'll switch my screen to my computer and I need to put these details on my computer. Now on your computer, open any browser and simply type in all the details which we see on our mobile screen. The IP address, then the colon. For me, the port number is 18192. Simply hit enter. Here we see one QR. That's not a super important thing. And we see all the videos and photos which are there in those folders which we have selected in the phone. And if you click on any of these videos, for example, if I click on this video, I can simply run this or play this directly from my browser itself. Obviously, I'm not playing the sound, but you can hear the sound as well whenever you play it and you can go back and you can play any other. But if you do not like or if you do not want to play this from browser, what we can do? We can simply click on all media M3U playlist and let's click on that. It is basically going to download one playlist file. Once you do that, maybe it will give one warning like this is not safe, something like that. But I'll be clicking on keep. It will download this .m3u file and go to that folder, downloads folder and here is our file. And what we can do, normally if you have VLC player installed, so double click on that, possibly it will get opened with VLC and as you see, it is playing one video and if I put next, it might get another photo or video. Now it is getting the second video from that list. We can go next, it is detecting the JPGs also. And if you do not have VLC player, we can do one thing. We can simply right click on this and open with and we can choose the native Windows Media Player which works pretty much good. Click on open with and Windows Media Player and here we go. It starts with one video. If you put next and it is getting now the second video. If you have any JPG or PNG file like photos, it will also show that it is one photo, another photo. And this is very cool. You do not have to copy anything. You do not have to install any software on your computer. We can stream anything that can be directly played on your computer like just one streaming server thanks for watching meet you in some next topics